Yo, what a do game. Welcome back to the channel. So, listen, guys, you see it, you want it. I said I would have it. So, here we are today with the 40 deck Mayakashi, right? Um, if you see any disproportionate stuff, like why do you only have two of these, three of these, and two of these, and stuff like that, I'll explain all of that at the end of the video. Um, I'm to be frank with you, bro, I'm just broke. You see this big fat zero right here? This Yu-Gi-Oh! Streets is not showing me no love, bro. My wallet is hurting, and I had to craft a bunch of these right here. So, with that being said, if you guys enjoy the content, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know your boy appreciates it. Now we have three saucy free plays for you guys today. Enough talking. Let's get into it. Alright, gang. So, for this first replay, um... We actually went up against a punk player. I'm sorry that I had to do it to you, bro. I love my punk people, you feel me? <laughs> if you guys know, if you've been here on the channel for a little while, well, even recently, you guys know I love punk, bro. It's my favorite deck right now. So with that being said, we're going to activate the Mayakashi Return so we could get a winged onto the hand so we could normal summon that thing, activate its effect so we could get max seed. And right now, I don't have the facilities to deal with that, so I'm going to call by the grave it. But I've been getting hit with the max seed imperm Ash Blossom combo all day, bro. Like, everybody has these three cards when it comes to me, right? So, we get Imperm. Our ring gets negated. We're going to call by the grave the uh, Max C, of course. Get that thing out of here. Again, we're also negated. So, we're just going to proceed to activate the Hand of Destruction. And again, we get Ash Blossom, bro. You see this? I've been getting hit with this combo <laughs> all day. It is what it is, though. So here, I don't recommend it. Our, our play was kind of dead, but I'm like, yo, there's one thing that I could do. So we're just going to get into it, right? So I activate the Ice Mayakashi. We're going to send the Graceful to the graveyard. That way, we're going to use both of these monsters to link up into the Ice Mayakashi, right? It's getting a little chilly. So we're going to activate the Graceful in the graveyard. She's gonna, she, she just likes to bounce from the graveyard back onto the field every time you summon a Mayakashi. So we're going to use both of these monsters to go into the Icicle Mayakashi, of course. Again, we're going to activate the Graveful in the Graveyard, bring her out here so we can use both of these monsters to Link Summon into the Absolute Zero Mayakashi because temperatures is dropping, bro. It's getting cold outside. Believe that. So then we're going to bring her back onto the field and this is all we have. <laughs> this is all we have, bro. This is basically nothing, but we're going to make it work, right? Unfortunately for our opponent, I'm a Punk Master at this point in time, so it's like you're playing against me. I use the Trap Tick. Send the um, Imperm into the uh, Banish Zone so we can set it down, right? They're going to activate this thing to effect, and I'm going to let it rock. I'm going to let it rock. They're going to activate the Ogre Dance in the hand. They're about to get jiggy, you know what I'm saying? So they're going to get the Deer Note onto the hand, right? They're going to activate the Deer Note, showing us that they had the Yukio in the hand this whole time. And I'm going to Imperm that thing because essentially what I was thinking at the time, it was that if I Imperm the Deer Note now, right? It's effect is supposed to be negated. If I'm not mistaken, let me see. I don't want to put a control and negate this effect until the end of this turn, right, bro, right? It's effects are negated until the end of this turn. That's what this card says, right? Because Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! be playing with me, bro. Look, watch this. So they activate that thing's effect, activating the CA in the in, in the graveyard as well, activating this thing effect so they could pay taxes, so they could search out another um punk card. So here they search out the Madame Spider, of course. I'm like, okay. They activate the, they give this thing an attack boost with the CA man, and here I activated this thing's effect, negating that thing's effect, getting its attack to zero. So now they're forced to um, synchro summon into the Yukio Punk Amazing Dragon. Now here, our life difference isn't that huge, so I get it, but I don't know why he didn't go into the Psychic and Punisher. I feel like it would have been a better choice, but you know, I mean, essentially not really because. This was actually really not, not that I think about it, this was good because I only I don't have any cards in the hand. So they're gonna activate that thing's effect, sending both cards to the hand, right? Setting down one card in the back row. They're gonna slap us for 3,000 damage and end their turn, right? Bet. Bet. So all we have is one card in the dream, bro. So here I normal summon that thing, activate the effect of the Ice Mayakashi in the graveyard so I could special summon it. So now we're gonna use both of these to go into the Oboro Garuma. If I'm butchering some of these names, bro, you know I can't speak English, right? Okay. The Grateful is going to bring herself back onto the field. Again, every time you Synchro, Link Summon, whatever special summon in Mayakashi, you're going to be able to bring her back, right? So right here, what we're doing is, this is the whole point of this deck. It's just you're going to Synchro Climb. You go from your Synchro 3 to Synchro 5 to Synchro 7 to Synchro 9 to Synchro 11, and then you Link Summon. Yo, it's crazy. That's why nobody wants to like use Maxi against this deck, because you're going to deck him out, right? 
So again, here we go into the um, Yoko Grave for my Akashi, bringing the Grave for back onto the field. Again, we're just gonna synchro summon into the level 11 Gasha Dukuro, and then again, she's gonna bounce off onto the field. And then here we're gonna activate the effect of the icicle, which lets us special summon one of the one of our monsters, one of my Akashi monsters from the graveyard back onto the field, right? Of course. So we bring the Yoko, the Grateful Maya Akashi, onto the field, activate its effect so we could pop this thing and we get Imperm'd, of course. Isn't that their second one? Whatever. <laughs> so again, we're gonna get it, but I'm okay with that because that was only bait. Because now I'm gonna activate this thing. Well, not activate. We're gonna use both of these monsters to link off into the Ice Maya Akashi one more time. Again, the Grateful is gonna pop out back onto the field. We're gonna use both of these monsters to link summon into the Icicle Maya Akashi. Again, Grateful is gonna come back onto the field. That's gonna use both of these monsters so we can link summon into the Absolute Zero one more time. Again, Grateful is gonna bounce back onto the field. And now we get to turn this thing attack to zero and negate its effect. And um, that is all she wrote because they don't have anything else. We have lethal damage on the board. GG's, good game. I still think he should have went into the Psychic and Punisher. I feel like it would have been a better idea. I mean, maybe if they understood how my Akashi works, because if I even if I crash into him to get less life points, there's nothing else I would have been able to do. But with that being said, um, let's go into the next replay. All right, gang. So here we are for the second um, clip of the day, and we actually went up against a Umi deck. Umi deck is actually hilarious to me because I used to play that deck a lot, and I used to terrorize for Rando Reese. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. It's on the channel. I used to terrorize for Rando Reese like all day, every day with this deck, right? So with that being said, we're going to activate the Mayakashi Return, getting a uh, Winged Mayakashi onto the hand. That way we could normal summon that thing, activate its effect, and we get Ash Blossom. And I'm like, let's get it, bro. So we're gonna bring the Great CL back onto the field so that we can use both for, both of these monsters to synchro summon into the Oboro Garuma. And I'm gonna speed this up because essentially, bro, th this is all you're gonna be doing. So you see level three, you're gonna bring your level two tuner. You're gonna be synchro summoning by two. So two and three, five, five and two, seven, seven and two, nine. That's all you're doing. And <laughs> it's super funny when you're seeing it. Look at all of these cards, bro. I, I believe we made him draw into about 30 cards, if I'm not mistaken. But that's the whole gist of this card, this deck. If you enjoy doing taking the max C challenge, you will love playing this deck, right? So once you get into, once you're done synchroing, you're gonna go into your Linkos. Again, you're gonna go into the Icicle, bring the Gray Ciel. Then you're gonna go into the Absolute Zero, bring the Gray Ciel back onto the field. And this is where things change, right? Here's where you activate your um, the Icicle. And the Icicle says, Quick Effect, you can banish the card from your graveyard. Special Summon one zombie Synchro Monster that is banished or in your graveyard, right? So we activate that thing's effect. That way we could bring out the... Um, the Boro a uh, Boro Garuma and we run two of each of these cards in the extra deck. So everything that you just saw me do, I'm just gonna do again. <laughs> level five, bring it back onto the field, math, level seven, bring it back onto the field, math again, level <laughs> nine. Bro, look at all of these cards. This man has a fan. A fan, bro. You can fan the whole world with all of these cards. That's how crazy that is. So you bring it back onto, right? And unfortunately, I didn't have the facilities to actually finish um, decking them out because I would have needed the um, ice one in order to keep going. But unfortunately, that's not what happened. But I still knew that. And I, the main reason why I took the challenge is because I had this in the hand. And this this thing is cracked, bro. Either or, it doesn't really matter against the Umi deck because you guys see here, they start off by activating the part of Extravagance. I'm like, okay. And that's when I activate the um, Ghost Meets Girl. And basically, this thing says they can't special summon card uh, monsters, but neither player can special summon monsters from the hand deck or extra deck for the rest of this turn, right? So that's why it's so good because sometimes you take the max C challenge, you activate this thing, they they probably won't be able to do anything either. So you know, here they activate the Harpy's Feather Dust. I'm like sad time because this is a good back row. Then we're gonna get Imprimed, of course. They're gonna activate the Sea Stealth 2, activating the Legendary Ocean. That way they can special summon the Ocean Dragon Lord, right? They're gonna pop us in the face, then they're gonna set down one back row, activate the effect of Foolish Burial, so that way they can send the Ice Barrier to the graveyard. Then they're gonna set down three back row, 
and they're gonna um <laughs> yo bro that, that thing is so funny to see bro this man had about 30 cars 30 something cars in the hand and 22 of them have to be sent to the graveyard because um Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't allow you to have seven more than seven cards after your turn is done so every time you do this to somebody they have to send all of those cards into the graveyard which is hilarious to me right so now we take our turn back here we draw into our um, ghost ogre they activate there can only be one of course and then they're gonna activate summon limit this is a freaking floodgate this is a yo this man has three floodgates on the field i'm like okay bet copy so here we activate the effect of the ghost mage girl in the graveyard which basically allows me to bring one of my banished my akashi monsters back into the graveyard right so we target the icicle because the icicle has the effect to um you know quick effect we could uh send her uh, send her from banish her so we could special summon one of our synchro monsters right so they're gonna activate the sea stuff attack and this uh i did this on purpose i wanted them to activate that thing because if they pop one of my cards i get to special summon this one right and this thing's effect that i just activated is that it's unaffected by card effects so here they couldn't pop me so they try to weave the effect they try to dodge it so then i activate the ghost ogre so i could pop this thing so they don't have it next turn right so again we get to slap them up for the 3300 and we're gonna end our turn they're gonna bring this thing back because even if the sea stuck isn't on the field its effect still goes off that card is crazy so here they start off by normal summoning a jellyfish and they can't really do much because their own floodgates <laughs> their own floodgates are hindering them right and right here they can't um, attack over this thing so here we they activate their second copy of the sea stuff attack and I'm like okay bet I'm gonna go into the battle phase trying to um, attack that thing because even if I attack that thing this card won't get popped it's only if you attack a monster that is original at level 5 so they activate this thing effect to dodge that and I'm like okay I won't attack when I activate the call by the grave though because they have a jellyfish in the graveyard now when they bring it back next turn even though it's back on the field it's useless you see it's negated because of the call by the grave so they can't negate anything that I do now right they're gonna activate the ice barrier in the graveyard they're gonna send a ga gamisel into the hand which is a kaiju you guys know how that goes again we get kaiju and here i just want you to know they only have two cards left in their in their deck i have about 31 cards they only have two cards left in the deck right so here i activate the, the effect of the icicle remember i told you when you use the trap to bring her back you could activate her effect and now we could bring this monster back onto the field our opponent knows that and they just concede because they they can't they can't um they can't uh, beat us with damage because their own floodgates are on the field if they do have the um the ship that would send my car back to the hand and they could have otk me they couldn't even bring that thing back onto the field right so they only have two cards by the time we would have been done with the turn they would have been decked out and would have won anyways so that was hilarious to me this is a good do i hope you guys enjoy it so with that being said i got another one for you um where we went second so let's get into that one right all right again so here we are for the last replay of the day and here this one was against a 60 card deck a 60 card saw me there i mean i don't know because it's a pile deck i didn't check it look at this thing i think it's a tower bro look at that thing anyways <laughs> they're gonna start off by activating the goki what i said and then i'm gonna imprint that thing because i don't know what type of things you're trying to send into the graveyard I just don't know and I'm not trying to have it. So, again, that thing getting negated. They activate the Foolish Barrier on here. I started getting nervous because I'm like, Keldo and all that stuff. So they send this thing, the Algo Masera, onto the graveyard, right? And they're going to set down one backward and end their turn. They're probably thinking it's pretty dookie. It is, but you guys will see. I activate one for one. That way I send the Mizuki to the graveyard so I can get the wing onto the field, activating its effect. And they have the Kelbeck in the hand, which, um... It's a little weird in my opinion because yeah, you get to send this back, but it's not negating this effect. So now I get to normal summon this thing and I get to go into our, um, you know, math, math class. Because this is just math class. You get your little calculator, bro, and just add by two every time. That's all you're doing. So again, they don't have any max C or anything, but the main purpose of this is so that we get into our link monster. Because when you get into your link monster, then you can start actually doing things from the graveyard, right? So again, we go into the um, ice, 
We're gonna bring her back onto the field. We're gonna go into the icicle. Again, bring her back onto the field. And uh, right here, this is when you can start making plays because for example, I can activate his effect, her effect. If this card is special summon, you can target one effect monster your opponent control and negate its effect, right? So that thing is negated now. Then we're gonna use both of these to go into the absolute zero. We're gonna bring the grateful back onto the field, which is gonna trigger this effect. Again, this thing attack is gonna turn to zero and it's gonna be negated, right? Get that out of here. We're gonna activate the Mayakashi return, getting the ice onto the hand so we can activate this effect and special summon it and then grace to the graveyard. We're gonna activate the icicle in the graveyard so that way we can special summon the um Gasha do Kuro, activating its effect, so now it's unaffected by everything. And then we're going to activate the Mizuki in the graveyard, that way we can bring the Yoko back onto the field. Yoko has the effect that we can pop a card, get that Kelbic out of here, I don't want to see it. And then we got lethal damage, slap him in the face for 3,300. And look at this. I didn't even realize this until it happened, right? If this card is banished from the hand or graveyard, you can special summon this card in defense position, then you can reduce its level by 1. This thing says you can only, <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. The absolute zero might negate any activated effects of your opponent's banished monsters. What, bro? This thing trick. this thing counters Necroface. This thing is crazy. I didn't even know. So again, we slap him over the face and it's GG's, it's lethal damage. I mainly wanted to show you this replay because, yo, this deck actually can be really good against the current 60 card deck meta. If you can manage, you know, if they don't go off and, and do all the extra stuff. Because I don't think this deck can play against a, a, over, like, two negates. That's why we run we run the Forbidden Droplet. I'll go over that in the deck list, which we're going to go into right now. So let's get into it. All right, again, here we are with the deck list portion of the video. So essentially, um, I'm playing this deck like this. And again, I have Maxine here because you guys will use Maxine and stuff like that. Also, you could search it with this thing. Um, again, I'm not going to show you replays where I use Maxi because that's just pointless to me. But either way, we run three Hugen the Wing Mayakashi, right? We run three Yuki Museum the Ice Mayakashi. We run two Maxi, two um, Daki the Grateful Mayakashi. Again, you don't want to run this at more than two. Some people run it at one, two. I run it at two because sometimes it can get caught by the grave and you still need it in the graveyard. And you don't want to banish, right? So that's fine. We run two Ghost Ogres. Three Ash Blossoms, two Ghost Belt, the Hunted um, Mansion, one Misuki, one Nibiru, one for Foolish Burial, one One for One, three Mayakashi's Return. This thing searches out your trap and your Mayakashi. This thing is actually, the, I think this is one of the best cards in here. But we run three Small Worlds, two Call by the Graves, one Cross Out Designator, three Forbidden Droplets. Two infinite impermanence, three trap tricks, and two ghost means girl. Um, definitely what I some changes that I would make is just get rid of one of these, add one of these, and add one imperm and like something else you can get rid of. Maybe one of these right here or any other things that you want to take out. But definitely you do want to run this at three, and you do want imperm to be at three. Unfortunately, I'm broke, so I can't I can't craft those right now, bro. I'm not I'm not going to. <laughs> so with that being said, let's go into the extra deck. You run two of each of these. You run two Oboro Garuma, two Tetsugumu. Te you know what that? You read it, bro. I, I I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Tengu the Wing Mayakashi, two Yoko, um Gaia Gaia Shak Dokuro, two of those, two Yuki Auna the Ice Mayakashi. Two, the Isoko Mayakashi, and one, um, Yuki Ona, the Absolute Zero Mayakashi. Um, this thing definitely running at two. I do have both copies, but I felt more comfortable doing like this. And then you could run this one at one. Some people like it that this way. Do it however is more comfortable for you, right? So this is the deck list. Um, the deck is actually really fun, especially when you take the Max C challenge, right? Um. The only thing is, is that going second, you can't play over two negates, but that's why you run the Forbidden Droplet, because Forbidden Droplet will help you break boards, right? It will help you negate everything. It's like, it's like, um, Dark Ruler No More. So if you want to play Dark Ruler No More in here, you could do that. The reason why I play, um, Forbidden Droplet over it, well, one, I don't have Dark Ruler, and two, is because you get to send this to the graveyard. And then if you normal summon this thing or bring this thing out to the field, you could bring this from the graveyard onto the field. Also, if you have this in the hand, send it to the graveyard, right? It's more beneficial to you to send these monsters to the graveyard. That's why we run the Forbidden Droplet. With that being said, I hope I went over everything that you need to know right now. Again, 
make sure that if you have these cards, switch them out. This, the, the way I was playing was not that optimal, but again, it's all I have. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. I got more content coming for you, bro, so stay tuned for that. Again, Tier Limits is coming out. Everybody's going crazy over it. With that being said, again, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace.